Assalamu everybody. Welcome to Physics with Noshir and we're discussing communication calculations. Now this is the last section of communications in which you will be doing numericals. A couple of things before I begin the calculations. Number 1, you need to understand what is gain. Gain is output over input. Right? So here because you're talking of communication in power lines in cables so we look at power output and power input when you were doing op amps you were looking at voltage output or voltage input here you'll be looking at power output and power input number 1 number 2 when you do these calculations they they come out to be really really large numbers extremely large numbers as a result of which we represent the gain in decibels so the gain is represented in decibels and why are they represented in decibels so that the large ratios can be made more manageable numbers number chota ho jata it becomes smaller it becomes more manageable now when you do the gain calculation in decibels first of all this gain has no unit but this gain has the unit decibels so when you calculate the gain in decibels your formula becomes 10 log p output over p input so because of this decibel you add a 10 and you add a log so the log is responsible for making that very big ratio into a manageable number kyun kar rahe hain sirf isliye taki wo number chota ho manageable ho jaye so gain this this gain has no unit but when you'll calculate your answer from here your answer would be in decibels and what's the difference all you have to do is you have to calculate p output over p input you have to take the log of p output over p input and then you multiply that with 10 and that is your gain in decibels all right secondly this is a mathematical reason that basically when you do it in decibels on do you take a log the log converts multiplication to addition or subtraction this is more mathematical but this is more understandable for biology as well they could ask you for one mark why do you take the readings to be in decibels rather than just taking it as like this the answer could be to represent large ratios in terms of more manageable numbers you must understand that one bell is equal to 10 decibels the calculations that you will do will be all be in decibels now coming back to our communication systems this is what we discussed last time that when you're transmitting something let's say a digital signal over this transmission line it could be a wire it could be an optic fiber anything two things will happen attenuation the signal will decrease in amplitude and there will be noise right ये नॉइज़ ख़त्म हो जाएगी जब आप उसको डिकोडर में भेजोगे बट डिकोडर में भेजने से पहले जहाँ पे तार ख़त्म हो रही है वहाँ पे नॉइज़ आएगी नॉइज़ ख़त्म होगी व्हेन यूल सेंड इट इनटू द डिकोडिंग मशीन दैट विल एलिमिनेट द नॉइज़ बट इन दिस वायर यू विल हैव अ लॉट ऑफ नॉइज एंड यू विल हैव अटेनुएशन स्पेशली इफ दिस वायर इज़ वेरी लॉन्ग सो टू मैनेज दैट नॉइज एंड दैट अटेनुएशन वॉट वी डू इज वी आर एन एम्पलीफायर इन आर लाइन so between the input and the output you put an amplifier and this amplifier provides a gain so amplifier kya karta hai amplifier aapka aapko gain provide karta hai isliye main isko par leke aaya taaki pata ho ki jo gain aata hai wo yahan pe aata hai you use amplifiers to boost signals is this like when you're on the motorway it's almost 400 kilometers from lahore to islamabad um i remember when i used to travel in my childhood the signals would just drop and it would just disappeared in some regions it still does but it's not as bad so how did they improve gradually over time they added amplifiers along the way because the signal will have noise and will get attenuated because the distance is very long so as a result you need to put in amplifiers what does the amplifier do the amplifier adds gain to your signal or the amplifier amplifies your signal so there are two things one is your gain and then the opposite of gain is attenuation noise is random unwanted power like i explained but attenuation is 
the reverse of gain. Gain is increasing, attenuation means decreasing your amplitude. So the formula for gain and attenuation are in front of you on your screens right now. Gain is 10 log P out over P input. Attenuation is simply negative gain. So you look at the formula. Attenuation is minus 10 log P out over P input. Please, the minus sign is very important. It says answers will be different. So this is make sure that when you're calculating atten attenuation, you use minus 10 log and the same formula. So basically, attenuation is negative gain. Now, there's one particular part which they can ask you in which they can also give you the length of this wire or this optic fiber or this wire pair. And they can say calculate the attenuation per unit length. So, ye formula dega wo dega attenuation shuru se lekar akhir tak. Jo bhi hoi hogi is wire mein. But they could ask you what is the attenuation per unit length. So, attenuation per unit length would be given by this formula. Attenuation per unit length, APL. First of all, the decibel will be per, um, the unit will be decibel per kilometer. And the formula will be the same formula as before divided by length. So, yehi pura formula is ko length pe divide kar do. So, it becomes attenuation per unit length. So, when you divide both sides by length, let's say the right side and the left side, then this thing is called APL, which is attenuation per unit length. And on the right side, you will just have 1 over L and the whole formula as it is. So, aapne jo gain nikaal hai, negative se multiply kare, length pe divide kare, you will get attenuation per unit length. Don't worry, we'll be doing calculations so you will know exactly how to use these numbers. So, I thought I should remove all of that clutter, bring the, the three key equations in front of you. And now, let's attempt this question. The gain of an amplifier is 45 decibels. Calculate the output power of the amplifier for an input power of 2 microwatts. So you had your amplifier, right? You give it an input of 2 microwatts. They're asking you what is the output power. Calculate. Now, the gain is given to you in decibels. So the formula that you should be using is this one. So let's use it. The gain in decibels is equal to 10 log P output over P input. The gain is 45. So 45 is equals to 10 log P output over P input. Right? So this will give you 4.5 is equals to log P output over P input. Now you take an anti-log on both sides. So you get log inverse of 4.5 is equals to log inverse log of P naught over P i. Now, how do you take log inverse if you have forgotten? In your calculator, you press shift and the log button. And whatever you have written in front, whatever, whatever you have written in front of you on the screen, that is anti-log. So most probably on the screen in front, it shows you 10 raised to power and then a bracket. You basically put 4.5 in the bracket. That's anti-log. All right. So remember this, you'll get 4.5 is equal to log P naught of P i. Lekin aapne chuke P naught nikalna hai, isli aapko is log se jaan chudani hai. As a result, aapne dono taraf anti-log lena hai. To aap likh jenge LG inverse 4.5 is equal to LG inverse LG P naught of P i. Ab LG inverse asal mein calculator mein kaise hooga? Calculator mein kahi LG inverse nahi hooga. Aap shift the baayenge aur aap log the baayenge. L O G likha hooga ya L G likha hooga. Also, the baki you'll get 10 raised to power and then just whatever is written 10 raised to power aata hai, log likha wa jata hai for all I care jo bhi likha wa aata hai but aapne bracket mein wohi argument dal dena hai wohi number dal dena hai jo aapne yaha pe likha wa 4.5 theek hai is equals to now log inverse and log get cancelled so you get p naught over p i so yaha sa aapki p naught ki value nikal aegi so your answer will be 6.3 into 10 is from minus 2 watts. That is how you do these calculations.